Last week, Ron Howard shared a picture from the set of Solo, A Star Wars Story. A pair of low-ranking Imperial officers with the hashtag Tag and Bink. At first, I took it as a joke, but the creator of the characters, Kevin Rubio, expressed his excitement over the image and got a response from John Kazdan, who happens to be one of those officers as well as the co-writer of the Han Solo movie. He shared his fandom of Tag and Bink, said it was his idea to include them in the film, and mentioned his desire to play one of them. So it looks like the Han Solo movie is going to take some very obscure Star Wars Legends characters and make them canon. I am blown away by this news. I never would have guessed this would happen of all characters to Tag and Bink, but I think it's awesome and now seems like the perfect time to cover their story and guess at how they might appear in the movie. Like I said, Tag Greenlee and Bink Otana were created by Kevin Rubio, whose work you might already know in the form of the fan film Troops. If you haven't seen it, you should. It's one of the very first online videos I can remember watching, and it's somewhat reminiscent of Tag and Bink. Anyway, their story is inspired by the play Rosencrantz and Guildenstern Are Dead, which follows a pair of foolish minor characters through the story of Hamlet as they unwittingly influence major events. So basically, Tag and Bink are either just off-screen or are actually on-screen hidden in costumes throughout the entirety of the Star Wars saga. They're the ones that deleted Kamino from the Jedi Archives. They help Anakin woo Padme. They're rebels on the Tanta V4 who escape by cowardly putting on Stormtrooper armor. They're in this TIE Fighter. They're the guards that allow Obi-Wan to shut down the tractor beam. They steal the Imperial Shuttle Tidarium. They shoot 3PO on Cloud City. They're thrown off the Carbonite platform by Chewie. Tag is in Boba Fett's armor at the Sarlacc Pit. Bink is the guy that accidentally shoots Luke's hand. And finally, they are the Emperor's Royal Guards on the second Death Star where they are finally killed. They're thrown from one ridiculous situation to the next, and all the while they discuss some of the questionable pieces of the Star Wars films. Where was Chewie's medal? Why do stormtroopers have such bad aim? Why did Anakin think talking about sand was a good idea? How did Manny Bothans die retrieving the plans for the second Death Star? It's all very tongue-in-cheek, and none of it is meant to be serious. It's not even considered true in Legends, as it contradicts some of the actual stories. But the four comic issues are undoubtedly a lot of fun to read. So, what might we see from Tag and Bink in the Han Solo film? Well, we already know they'll be played by screenwriter John Kasdan and the first assistant director Toby Hefferman. I think the most likely scenario is that we will briefly see a pair of bumbling Imperial officers. I don't think they'll get much more than a visual cameo, but hopefully it's a small comedic moment. Or I could see a short, funny conversation between them and our heroes before they're dispatched. But if Howard and Kazdan go a little deeper with the connections, Tag and Bink have a pretty notable past with Lando and the Battle of Tanab. We of course know Lando is in the movie, and it's very possible that we could see the battle as well, and having them present and interacting with Lando wouldn't be too hard to pull off. I think they'll probably take a more simple approach to two incredibly obscure characters, but hey, a guy can dream. If you want to read about Tag and Bink for yourself, you can get all four of their comics at Comixology for about 10 bucks. There's also a great video by Austin McConnell that I will link to in the description. What do you guys think of this surprising addition to the Star Wars canon? Do you love it or hate it? How would you like to see them included in the Han Solo movie? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, Thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.